G'day everyone, um, name's Luigi, in the fishing world, people know me as Chili Burn. Uh, I've just received a package from a lure maker in Tasmania called Lured 3D. They're a 3D printed uh, lure. Uh, a little bit of background, I've been, um, or not background, but... Okay, let me tell you a bit of a story. So I've got some lures that I already use, which are resin head style lures. And I've actually drilled out um, some holes in the heads and made my own jets. Um, so this season, we've probably raised about 30 marlin to the boat and we've managed to tag or get beside the boat and release eight of those marlin. Um, all of those marlin have taken a lure bar two, so six marlin landed, um, but all of those marlin have taken lures that I've either drilled holes into or they are already some sort of a jet head or um, one of them is a, another brand who does a 3D printed lure. So the 3D printed lure has been performing really, really well. So in the meantime, I've been contacted by Lured 3 d who's been a bit of a follower on um, Insta and has asked if I would like a selection of his lures to run because um, these lures are made in Tasmania. They're printed in Tasmania. So um, in Tasmania, they've got this bad problem where all they're getting is um, bluefin tuna. Um, they don't really see any yellowfin tuna. Um, and their marlin season is very, very small if if um, if they get marlin. So he's asked if I could um, swim some of his lures and see if I can um, get a hold of some you know, yellowfin or or, or marlin. Um, they even get kingies on these um, down in Tasmania. Who's uh, telling me? And that's Todd. Todd from uh, Lured Three D. So I said, yes, I'm up for the challenge. Um, so he sent me 15 lures, um, which I'm totally, totally stoked about. And they are super impressive. You'll have to excuse the background noise because I am outside. Um, but these things are just wicked. So like they've got jets that come out on the outside. Then they also vent um, through the center of the lure. So the amount of bubble trail these would leave is ridiculous, especially on lures like that. Like that is just insane. That's going to be an amazing lure. So um, the lure names are, that's the Maximus. Um, that's that head there. And these are a um, total length, uh, eight inches. So great tuna lure, great striped tuna, uh, striped uh, marlin lure. Um, they'll work really, really well. Um, I'd probably go for more of these, this size, in the our marlin, for the striped marlin, which is about a nine, 10 inch lure. And then, wow, like seriously, these things have got blue, fin, uh, blue marlin written all over them. So they're a 13 inch lure. Um, I'll get to those, but they are just wicked, wicked in design. So all the head designs are all, this, all the same like the name for all the different sizes so that's what they call the maximus um, beautiful looking lures gorgeous nice skirts um, i think he was using a yozuri uh, skirt but now um, i think it's getting harder to get those so i'm not sure what other colors or what other uh, brand skirt he's going to be um, converting to but you can always get onto um, his facebook or instagram page and it's lured Lured 3D. Um, tell him Chili Burn sent you. He's actually, we're actually working on making a lure and we're going to probably call it Chili Burn as well. So, but the deal is, is I've got to raise fish first. So let's see what we can do. So that's called the Ballistic um, Shockwave. Look at that. That's just what a design. Like that's insane. So venting through the center, and look, you got. So it's a big, big hole on the opening, and then that squeezes down to a small hole. So that's going to make these lures hold the water really, really well because that water 
is going to enter. Like, look at that. That's the, the Spitfire. So that's a lot of surface area that's going to be grabbing water, holding water, and it's going to shoot out these little jets um, out the back. So this is going to create an amazing, an amazing bubble trail. So, you know, all these resin lure makers, that's their goal is to, to get lures that um, swim well, hold the water well, and create some sort of a smoke trail or a bubble trail. Um, so, you know, they've had a lot of success with these down in Tasmania um, with their, their bluefin tuna and kingies. They catch kingies on them. Um, look at that. That's just amazing. Like, that's like a popper style head. Big, big holes, tiny little holes, and then vent on the outside. It's going to leave an amazing smoke trail. Like, unbelievable. And that last one, that is called the uh, Razorback. And that's the Spitfire. So gorgeous colours as well, like, you know, perfect. Like, if you ask me, something like that would be awesome in the um, short corner, you know, right up against that um, engine wake. So that's going to really stand out with um, leaving an amazing trail. You know, I'd probably run that in the long corner. Again, that's going to push a lot of water and make a lot of big bubbles. And then, you know, you've got these three fellas that will run, you know, amazing in your riggers. You know, short rigger, long rigger, shotgun. Um, even though I've sort of changed things up a little bit recently, I don't run a shotgun anymore. I run um, two lures off each rigger and a short corner and a long corner. So um, I could potentially run seven lures if I wanted to, but, um, but at the moment I'm running six lures in my... Um, configuration that's if i've got three on board if I've, there's only two of us on board i'll only run four and if i'm running four i'll only run off my outriggers i won't run off the short corners at all um, so i'm getting those lures in the clear water so whether that's been you know why i've raised well not why i've raised but why you know that's had something to do with the success of raising so many fish having said that you can only raise them if they're there, right? So Sydney's had an amazing bite. We've had an amazing fishery in the last couple of months. Um, we've had a lot of fish being caught. Everyone's complaining about the same thing where they're getting fish up in their spread um, and they're you know, attacking the lure and you're getting a zap, zap, zap. You know, they're, they're hitting the lure three times, four times and they're not hooking or not sticking or just sticking for a little bit. Um, so we're all, we're all experiencing the same sort of... Um, scenarios where they're not you know people are going nine five two or zero or one or you know it hasn't been their most of the mate but that's the law fishing right so um at the end of the day you know the fish are there we're raising them we're getting excited we're seeing them and um we're hooking hooking them up as well yeah some people are definitely having a lot more success than others but you know that's um that's that's lure fishing like look at these bad boys like that has got you know, short corner or that. Like, I don't know if the video does any justice, but the, the size of that head, it's just on the face, is two inches. So it's probably, probably across the whole thing, it's like two and a half inches diameter. So that's like, that's got big blue mullein written all over it. You know, I've started rigging these up, and you know, that's how I'm rigging them up. That's um, 400 pound mono in there. So I'm going to rig up two of these or three of these with singles on them um, and I might rig up another two of them with two hooks set up on them. Um, just change it up a little bit with wire, uh, two hooks set up with wire and run them at you know, 180 degrees opposite each other. But um, yeah, amazing looking lures, amazing. Like I just can't believe how vicious and the colours, like you know, short corner. Or short corner, long corner, because that bubble trail, that, that's that's ridiculous. That's going to make more weight than my engine. So short corner, long corner, it's going to look amazing, you know. Outriggers, long corner, long rigger, long rig, short rigger. Like, look at that, look at that. That's going to suck in so much water and then push it out the side in those vents. That is insane. Uh, you know, that's going to hold the water so well and make an amazing bubble trail. Really looking forward to it. So, Lured 3D is the company, made in Tassie. Um, they've got an Instagram page and a Facebook page. 
Uh, they've also got a, a Gmail, lured3d at gmail, lured3g at email.com. Um, Todd is in the process of setting up a little bit better system on how to purchase via a shopping cart, but he's a little bit old school, which is what I like about Todd, where just pick up the phone, give him a call, or send him an email, and he loves having a chat over the phone, and he'll help you sort out your lure needs. Um, just make sure you tell him Chiliburn sent you, and he will definitely look after you. Um, it's been a pleasure to uh, deal with so far, and I can't wait to get these in the water and and um, take them for a swim. That's almost like translucent. Like that's amazing. Those jets. Oh my god, they look uh, ridiculously good. And the colours, you know, like that's that is a perfect spread. Like that is a great combination for a perfect spread. Great colours. Like that's got that's got tuna written all over it that is ok 